Now, where are you from? Little Vegas. They actually call it Highland Hills, but it's Little Vegas. It's located in Fort Worth, Texas, off of 20. I see. Now, still living there? Uh, I actually don't, I don't live there, but, you know, it's the hood. I'm, I see. I'm doing better. I used to live there. But do you still live in the Fort Worth area? Yeah. Okay, got you. Now, explain the difference between Fort Worth and Dallas, because they're right next to each other. Is it is one considered a suburb of the other city, or is it considered its own city? Explain for it's somebody so that's big, not it's, it's two different cities. It actually has a couple cities in between it. So it's so big that when you say suburb, it's suburb neighborhoods in both Dallas and Fort Worth. I'm not saying it's not hood, but it's, you got suburb in both areas. So nah, neither one of them is just actually suburb, but you do have suburb areas in them. I see. Now, what's the difference? Is there any difference musically between Fort Worth and Dallas? It's not really that much of a difference because we so much close. So whatever y'all might be talking about in y'all raps, we might be talking about the same as far as designer, drug, clothes, whatever. We so close. So it's not much of a difference, but you do have artists that are different from our artists. Now, I know every city can be different. It can be territorial, especially amongst rappers. Is there beef between Fort Worth rappers and Dallas rappers, or are you guys pretty much close working together, that sort of thing? Uh, to be honest, it ain't really no beef, but you got people that you might have some misunderstandings, but the way that our, I say our career going, now, nah, it ain't no beef between Fort Worth and Dallas. You might have some personal issues, but not no beef at all to where it's a city beef. I see. I got you. Now, I've been hearing a lot of Dallas music for the last several years, maybe even a decade, but I've never seen this turn up with Fort Worth. I always see, I always used to see Dallas artists get booked in Fort Worth, that sort of thing. But I never heard of a Dallas rapper really popping out of Fort Worth. But it seems like there's a movement, uh, rappers coming out of Fort Worth now. Uh, has it always been this movement and stuff going on? People are just now hip to it? Or is there a, sur a sudden resurgence uh, of what's going on right now? To be honest, no, nah, it, ha it haven't been like this. That's why you never really seen a Fort Worth artist come out. And that's true. You got a lot of D Dallas artists that came down to Fort Worth and was getting paid. When I was coming up, it, it was Fort Worth artists don't get paid when they go to Dallas. But Dallas artists can come to Fort Worth. But that's the reason of, one of the reasons we started our slogan as No More For Yayo It Costs. Because when my little bro Yayo got out of jail and the way that he dropped his songs or whatnot and they buzzed and took off so fast, we had a strong meaning of, Hey, we're not doing shows for free. I actually went through my career doing a couple shows for free, thinking there's love to the city. Now, it's still a business. So when we was going out, it's no more for Yayo at cost because we are from Fort Worth where you don't even pay Fort Worth artists that much. So that was one of the reasons why we use no more for Yayo at cost because, hey, you got to pay us. We already not getting paid, and we watched the last artists that came out of our city. So now it hadn't always been the same. And with me being with my little bro Yayo, when he got out of jail and the takeoff that he took off on, it's not no normal takeout, so that's like one of the first at the city. Now, how'd you guys meet? How'd you guys link up? Uh, he actually, I met him through my little partner, but I actually have a partner that I was rapping with. His name is Lil Zach. He died. You know what I'm saying? Lil Zach, he tattooed right here. It's actually my little bro, yeah, your cousin, you know what I'm saying? Well, they got shot together when, I, when he was like 15, yeah, he was 15. They got shot together at the club, and Zach didn't make it. So that was one of my partners I rapped with, only partner, no group, nothing. He's the only person I rapped with, period. To where when he died, I was already on some shit, like, I'm going to do this by myself. But like I say, I got a little partner. His name was Jewel, Free Sonny. You know, he was like, uh, he brought Yayo to me and told me, hey, man, my little bro want to holler at you, want to get in the game, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't just a big of a rapper, but I was like the biggest thing in the city. Then my partner just died, which was the biggest thing. Once he told me one time, I ain't really peep it out. Yeah, yo, came back, he brought him to me again. Hey, my little partner want to rap. He spit a song, and it was from there on. Once I told him, I got you, we gonna go, we went. And we, we never, it's like we got married to the mic from that day on. I see. I got you. Yes, uh, I remember when Yayo came on and talked about the shooting and that right. sort of thing and that whole incident. 